five zero. Bad guy again. Yeah. Bad guy again. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this guy keeps escaping from prison. He's, and, sorry. <laughs> He's a serial killer. Uh, the third episode, the newest episode, will air on the 22nd of April. That's fun. And he doesn't like to get that chafing in his shorts, you know, so. <laughs> So that's why he's the bad guy. I'm going to turn. <laughs> yes, chafing. 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 Now, somebody told me he was on another TV show here lately. Yeah, yeah lip sync. Lip -sync battle yeah. How many of you saw a lip sync battle? You really need to go on YouTube <laughs> because Randy lip synced Bobby Brown. <laughs> My prerogative. My prerogative, okay? <laughs> and at first, at first, at first, you know, now when Randy got here, he told me about he had a DNA test. And he said, well, you know, I thought it was mostly French, but I found out it wasn't French as much. I was 17% French, correct? 24% Irish. 24% Irish. <laughs> and that uh, explains why he's impartial to milk. <laughs> Um, did I just say that? Irish, they even drink milk. Um, and what was, what was the other part of the, your makeup? Uh, well, there was 40% British, which was, uh, which I thought was a lot. Was amazing. Yes. Yes. Well. It was very interesting. And then, uh, 4% Iberian Peninsula, which is Spain and Portugal. Uh, less than 1% Nigerian, of all things. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, the Niger that's the Niger that's, that was my point. Okay, that's where Bobby Brown did enter. Okay, but a long time ago he entered. Okay, into the thing, and I'm watching this because it was sent by my my good friend down there, Joe Smackham. And I was, you know, in the morning, I was like, "What the heck?" You know, what? He's sending me this in first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. Thing in the morning. Thing in the morning. So actually, actually, he did a really good job of imitating Bobby Brown and lip syncing. Why he lost? <laughs> I'm waiting for the producers to give me a good explanation, okay? So I thought, and, and we've been scheming, okay, to come up with a little bit of line from my prerogative, and when he moves over to give out the awards, <laughs> that it just may happen, so women be prepared, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, you just have to wait in line. All right, let me turn this back again. Give a big round of applause to Randy Couture, please. And last but not least on my docket, um, the people to my immediate left are, without a doubt, some of the most special people in my life, especially when it comes to the Arnold uh, weekend. Uh, as many of you may know, may or may not know, I had a different organization when we started. And I had to get rid of that organization. And I reached out to Denise and Leonard, and that has been one of the best decisions that I have ever made. Not only for the weekend, but for this particular sport. I've not had a better crew to work with. It's an absolute joy. And um, the fact that, you know, when I heard that Stallone and Arnold would possibly be here, I couldn't think of a person who represented Rocky and the Terminator and who really deserved to meet them more than Leonard. Okay? From the bottom of my heart, I love you. Thank you. I always will. Denise, thank you for everything that you've done. And please give them a big round of applause. <laughs>